One of the reasons that semiconductors, or excuse me right now, programmable logic is outperforming the overall semiconductor industry through the downfall is we're in areas that are a little bit more protected than others. Uh, we've grown uh, two and a half times our customer base simply by taking market share from ASICs and ASSPs. And again, uh, Altera is the only company with greater than a six gig transceiver, the only company that has a solution for the 100 gig marketplace. And if you look at 40 nanometer, Altera is today the only company it with in the foundry space, uh, or for that matter, the world, uh, producing 40 nanometer chips. Yeah, um, uh, despite the process advantage, um, in terms of revenues, are you still taking market share from ASICs? Again, half of the revenue of the ASIC industry, over half, is in consumer-oriented products. It's sort of like peel the onion. You may find one issue and solve that, only to find it was masking other issues within the chip. As you know from us, we introduce uh, or we announce a product when the software is released. And so uh, we obviously don't have 28 nanometer software available, so we're not at the point where we're going to introduce the product. So we're seeing today the Stratix 4GX uh, become the fastest ramping FPGA actually ever in the history of programmable logic. Uh, because its ramp is about nine months earlier than any other product that we've ever seen. Uh, why is the next uh, generation uh, so the, uh, 28 nanometer and not 32? Uh, because uh, what uh, we are doing with TSMC is to work with what can be the most aggressive process technology available within every node. Uh, and generally, they're on a path to do, to make the half, what historically would have been considered the half nodes, they are going to make the full node. 